Hello, you two! Welcome back to another episode of Texture Pack Show and Tell. Uh, this episode, we will be doing the Elemental 64 Texture Pack. Um, and in this, of course, we are at Q Magnets Texture Pack for 1.8. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the pumpkin. Got the same old face. See what it looks like on my face. Ooh, I like that one. That was a good one. Very nice. Nicely done. And look at that. They even changed up the little crafting grid thing. That's cool. What about the map? Very unique. I like the picture down there. It's a globe. Looks like it's about to burn. Um, and it looks like uh, parchment. So we are going to head over to the ama like always i like that iron door that's really nice okay so let's take this off okay so we got leather and wood i really like this texture pack it's really nicely done gold and gold we got chain mail and stone we got iron and uh, iron sword of course we got diamond and a diamond sword of course um, my favorite, to be honest, is the leather. So I am going to put that on. Um, let's take a look. See what I look like. Oh, yeah. Nice. I like it. We're going to keep that on the rest of the episode. All right, let's move on down to the pictures. Um, another one of my favorite spots. Look at that redstone. That is amazing. I like how that lamp is done. Oh, look at that. He's done every single picture. Oh, wow. That's upside down. But I get it. And that's a map. <laughs> Interesting one. That one's a lot better. I like that one. Um, wonder if some of these are his his work. I like that. That's nice. Interesting. Chickens. <laughs> awesome. I like it. So now we're going to head down to the um, vegetation and plants and vegetation. So let's go over and look at the lava first. I like how that looks. Flowing lava, still lava. Amazing. Fire. Looks almost real. That's pretty dang good. Did a really good job on this texture pack. I think I'll actually start using this one. We got ice and packed ice. Very well done. Flowing water. Amazing. I think that's. I don't know what that is. Is this glowstone or is it the lamp lights? Even the mushrooms aren't textured. That's amazing. Good job, man. That is photo of real sugar can look at that that is well done I like it and it changes colors as it should in other biomes the pots are done even all the flowers melon stems nether wart looks like mushrooms good Oh, it's actual carrots and pumpkins. I mean, potatoes. That's amazing. Wheat. Actually tell what this stuff is. That is amazing. I really like this texture pack. Let's see what the characters, uh, not characters, the mobs look like. I'm going to head on down to my favorite section. Alright, we'll do villagers next. I want to see the witches. Oh wow, look at that, that is wicked. I could definitely see me using this texture pack for something. 
<laughs> Look at that blacksmith. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. I like it. That is really well done. Spiders. Amazing. Nice little cave spider. Oh, look at those cute eyes. That is awesome. Even the sheeps have big eyes. <laughs> spider jockeys. Oh, look at that face. Ugh. I do like all of these. These are amazing. Lots of detail. Um, I haven't done many. I haven't done many that actually have this much detail put into every single character. Um, I mean, look at the pigs. That's amazing. Yeah. Whoa. Holy scary. Wow. Let's see what the regular creepers. Can't believe how much he changed stuff. That is amazing. Zombie villager babies. The zombie villagers. Blood splattered. Baby zombies. Look at that, they're missing an eye. <laughs> I got the puppies. The wolf, the pup, and the dog. Nice. Nicely done. Uh, chickens. Next is zombies. They look exactly like the little ones. Oh, whoa. I like that. That is cool. I wonder if the adult pigmen actually look like that. We got the cats. We got the bats. Look at that. He even textured the bats. That's amazing. This is a really good, I like that, the eye. Magma cube, nice. What's the squids look like? <laughs> That's funny looking. Oh, that's creepy. Wouldn't want to see that in. Looks like Robocop almost. Silverfish. Nice. There's a lot of people who forget to texture the silverfish. Diamond, iron, gold. No sad. No armor, I mean. Blazes look good. I like the fiery skulls. The pigmen, we already seen that on the jockey. There's the adult ones. No shirts. Polka dotted with blood. The back is a little messed up, but that's alright. Ooh, look at this zombie horse. I like that. I was doing an adventure map. Uh, there's one he missed. Andermite, but that's okay. He's fairly new. Um. Oh, wow. That is incredibly done. I like that. Oh, imagine riding one of those out into battle. Holy cow. That'd be scary looking. He even changed the wither up, like how it looks. That's awesome. Nice. You got all the bunnies. Did he get the guardians? Ooh, he even did the guardians, and the eyes still work. That is awesome. Oh, scary looking. I like it. Let's go see how Eddie's doing. See if he changed up Eddie's appearance any. Um, doesn't look that different, honestly. Um, could have done some purple 
on the wings or something. Is that the only one he forgot? Alright, so all in all, he did a really good job. Um, the only one he was missing was the, uh, the Ender Dragon itself, which was pretty good, and the Ender Might, which is understandable because it's new. Um, but let's see if Alex. Alex's face isn't textured right either, and neither is Steve's apparently. Wow. But yeah, that looks amazing. We're going to go and check out the um, GUIs and stuff like that now. Alright, so here's the enchantment table. It's very well done. I don't have anything. We'll enchant that in a minute. Got the brewing station, command block. Most people don't texture the command block or the uh, brewing table. Okay, let's go get our sword. Let's see what day looks like. Oh, wow, look at that. I want the moon. Nice. Let's get our sword. And we're going to put this in here and get that. Let's see what it looks like. Nice. I like it. Nice and shiny. Alright, guys. Welcome back to the main chamber. Um, we're going to call it an end of an episode here. And thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you've seen, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike. Either way, I would love to hear from you guys. So leave a comment down below, and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Um, once again, thank you for watching. If you want to keep up to date on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and have a good day.